Just so you guys know, I'll be using Chrome as an example, but these two methods I'm gonna be showing works on every single web browser, so let's get into it. So guys, for the first method, we're gonna head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna head over to this PC and then you wanna click on your C drive. Then we're gonna click on Windows, then we're gonna scroll down and then click on System32. Then we're gonna scroll down again and then click on Drivers. And then we're gonna click on the ETC folder. Once you're in the ETC folder, we're gonna drag the host file to our desktop and then click on continue. Once it's on our desktop, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna select notepad and then click on just once. Once you've opened it up, you wanna put your cursor next to local host and then click on enter twice, which will bring us down. And then we're gonna type in 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 space and then the website that you wanna block. So for example, I'll do Instagram. So I'm gonna do www.instagram.com. If you want to block more websites, then you have to go down two times again and then do the same thing. So 0 .0 .0 .0 www.facebook.com and you can keep on doing that as much as you want. But once you do this, for all the websites that you want to block, head over to File and then click on Save. And then we're going to close this out and then we're going to drag back the host file into the folder and then click on Continue. Now once you do this, I'm going to search for Google Chrome and I'm going to type in Instagram. And then as you can see, the site can't be reached. For some websites, the 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 will not work. So instead, you have to type in 127.0.0.1. And then you could type in any website that you want and then click on find and save and then drag that back to the ETC folder. And then that should work for you. But if that does not work for you, we're going to move on to the second method. So for the second method, we're going to click on the three dots in the top right. And then we're going to head over to extensions and then click on manage extensions. Then we're going to open up our web store that comes with our web browser. This works on everything. Once you're on this, we're going to type in block site. And then you want to get the one which has like a red shield on it called block site. So we're going to add this to Chrome. You could add it to any web browser that you're using. Once we have it, we're going to click on the puzzle and then we're going to click on the pin so that it shows. And then we're going to agree to the terms. And now you just want to go to any web page that you want to block. So for example, I'll just go to Samsung. I'll just go to the Samsung store. Once you're on the web page that you want to block, you want to click on the shield and then click on block this site. And now you just want to refresh the page and now it's blocked. But you can only do this about three times. So that's why I showed you guys the first method because you could do it unlimited times. But for the second method, you can only do it about three times. This helped me like, subscribe, peace out.